Adnan Syed was convicted in 2000 of killing his former girlfriend, Hay Min Lee. At the time, they were both students at Woodlawn High School. In 2014, reporter Sarah Koenig renewed interest in the Syed case with her podcast series, Serial. We went to Leakin Park to the burial site where Lee's body was found to interview former city surveyor Philip Buttemeyer, who was a witness in the trial. For me to find this, well, I can, we can walk up what I think would be 700 and some feet and then look for these two big trees. and We'll do it that way. 200. There's 700. Oh, 20 more paces. Okay, it's right back there. So when the police department called me this day, they asked for Phil Bottomar. We speak to Phil Bottomar, and he said, "Well, we need your, we need you at Lincoln Park. There's a body, and we have to measure it and so forth." And then I came out. I, I was a detective. I think he was a sergeant, and I followed him into the woods. And he, he's about 20 feet ahead of me. And anyhow, I'm trying to keep up with him. And eventually he crosses this log, and I'm, I'm behind him. And then he walks up to this point and stops. And I'm still walking along the edge of the log. And then, uh, and then he says, stop, stop. You're gonna walk on the body. The body's right there. And I look down at the ground and I'm looking and I, I don't know what was going on. I, I, don't see a, I don't see any body. I don't see a body. He goes, well, it's right in front of you. It's right there. And I, okay, well, I don't see it. So he comes up. This is a little graphic. And he, and he points to an area that, that wasn't covered with dirt, and it was only about, about that much of an area. And he said, that, that's the the girl's ankle and I get down really close and I'm looking and, and I thought well it doesn't look like an ankle to me but that's what he says so there's a body there there's the body on the ground it looked like just uh, just natural ground it, it was like a little rise it wasn't much maybe I don't know maybe a, a, maybe a foot in height and it covered an area of possibly six, seven feet. It just looked natural, it was full of leaves and everything. I would have never guessed that was a burial site. I wouldn't have known that. Okay, now how, how that man that had to go in the woods, what he said to take a leak, how he found a body. I don't know, that, that's been crushing wall from the very beginning. That was in uh, February and September. I get a call from, from a lawyer. When, when, when she called me up, she said, uh, my name is so-and-so, I'm the defense attorney for the person that was accused, and I'm gonna re represent him, and I understand you're the survey that went out there. I'd like to come over, talk to you. You can show me the burial site. And I tell you, when, when she came on strong. It's like she knew what she was doing. And she was in control, total control. I came out here, it was all business, and she asked me all the right questions and everything, and I answered her questions. This whole situation, the murder of 99. Well, last year I'm down Ocean City on the boardwalk with my granddaughter, and, and, and she's on her, on her phone. She says, uh, I'm, I'm looking up some stuff. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, and, and punch in Phil Buttemeyer, surveyor. I'm curious to see what it says. Well, she punches that in her phone, brings it up, and there's a whole lot of websites on Phil Bottomar's surveyor. And, and I'm looking through the sites, and one site was about, about the murderer in, in Lincoln Park. And I'm looking through it, and, and it, it had my testimony when I, when I was on trial and everything, and, and my drawing. And then further down, it, it had a list of, 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 of the people involved that, that were, that were uh, uh, called as witnesses, and my name was there. And, it, and it, it, exactly what it said, Phil Bottomar, who visited burial site, died in 2010. Well, that was, that was a mistake. That was my uncle that died. I didn't, I didn't I'm, I'm here, <laughs> okay. And then a few months later, my neighbor, this down the street from me, she came up to me and said, hey, uh, somebody wrote a podcast about a, a, a crime that was 
the 99 in Lincoln Park, and, and you were a part of it. You were a, a witness in everything. And, and, and I, that's, where, that's how I learned about it.